Here we go right here. We have another one. 30. Here we go right here. We got a, we got, okay, we got a blazing. We got two linglings on a Tuesday. This should be a disgrace. I'm in my 30s, no kids, single. In my Chinese culture, I would be called a shengnu, a leftover. But could you please explain to me why I look better now than when I was in my 20s? My oh, my. My body is more toned, my skin is clearer, and my style is more refined. I have the freedom to do whatever I want to do and be whoever I want to be. The world is not my oyster. The world is my ocean. And you're telling me I'm a leftover? I'm in my main course era. I'm in my 30s. All right, she's in her main course era. However... The problem she has is she feels like she looks better than her 20s. Now, that could be true. That could be false. She says, my body's filled out. I feel better about myself. Yeah. And you are what a lot of guys would be like, oh, I'm clapping. I'm still clapping. You guys would fuck anything. So that's, that means nothing. <laughs> okay. You ninjas will be happy with a fat girl in your bed right now. Ninjas will try in here clapping wheelchair girls. But the, the, the priorities are that now that she's at this level, are you able to successfully market yourself to the men that you would like to be selected by? The answer is going to be no. Number one. Number two, she's going to limit, extre extremely limit the amount of men that are able to handle her. Not only that, she's going to be in a different financial position and she's prioritizing her career and her health more power to you. But she's going to reject more men than are available to her. Then she'll end up on a dating app where she'll have no options left. Oh, damn. And guys will choose something else if they are looking to settle down, marry. So she'll end up with the gump at, at best. And that's you. So she's extended her adolescence. Now, I like this for women. I like this for women. You know why I like it? Because they're able to explore the life that they want rack up as much debt they that they want and then come back to you and then then see if they can actually negotiate a deal with the guy who maybe is thinking logically as opposed to saying hey i want to rush her down the aisle and marry her but i like this for women go go figure out your life go live your life in reverse forget about saving retirement and making a lot of money and stacking your chips no Go get your life going first. I've flown myself <laughs> to Paris. I've done Greece. I've island topped. I've done all of that. All right. Go, get, go live your life first. Live your best life and then come back and then negotiate with men on what you're going to give them, which is mainly we have a lot of women that are financially insecure, food insecurities. Yeah, they live their best lives, but when they come back, they cannot pick and choose. They have more competition. And you have the fact that most men aren't marrying these days. They've opted out. All of what she said is feel. I feel like I'm not a leftover. I feel like I look better. I feel like I want to live my best. All of this is emotional feelings. Most likely, if she pivots, it's not going to work the way she might intend. She might end up with a gump. She might end up with the simp. That's not a win. A lot of guys will say it's a win, but it's not. All right, she had to settle for that, and she might even say, I'm not settling. I'm not going to settle, which is going to be detrimental long-term for everybody because we're going to have to support her. Okay, so in essence, this person is not going to be able to sustain this for very long. So I like this for her. Baby, as, I, as they say, I like this for you. Somebody said that she involved with sex work. Um, could be possibly because, you know, listen, how does she afford all of this at 30? I'll, I'll look her up. I'll look her up here. She seems like a black and Chinese. All right. And by the way, she's cute. She ain't old to me. She doesn't look old. She's cute. But as a 30 year old, you just, you just operate differently than when you're in your mid twenties and selecting. Yep. She has a nice body. She's cute. Uh, what is he here? Uh, there, there seems okay. There's, there is seem to seem, uh, seem to be a lot of travel here. Are there any women here that are older than thirty? Okay. And and you guys have no standards. You guys will take anything. I mean, it's basically how 
This is how hypergamy works. Coach, man, she bad. I'll take her. This is not a great deal as great as you believe. Any women here over 30? Because I'm going to ask them something here. This is what guys don't understand about this. Because she's hiding a lot. Yeah, she's hiding. She's hi- Somebody said, who's filming? I, I'm getting to that. You're absolutely right. What you guys don't understand is that all of these women that are doing this, they're either selling pussy or broke. I mean, I'm just letting you know. You guys have no fucking clue. They're coming in and they are getting, <laughs> it's a, they are getting, we got 42-year-old woman. We got a woman here uh, over 30. Shout out to the ladies over 30. Why don't you tell these guys <laughs> how expensive the expense that what you're seeing here is thousands of dollars. What you're seeing is thousands of dollars. What she's doing is not cheap. This will require her to have either she makes a lot of money or she's got daddy's money or sugar daddy's money or she's broke. I'm going to show you. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you. We got older than 30. What she's doing, guys, most men, you can't afford this. Here's the problem with it. Because let's just talk about relationships. Men always think, men always think sexually. This is why you guys end up stupid. You're only going to think about what you're going to put in her body. I will pay her to put, I will pay her and then get rid of her. All right. I, I, I'm not trying to entertain her. We're talking about, we're talking about what, we're talking about relationships. That woman right there is spending a lot of money. So somebody's paying for that, number one. Number two, if you wanted probably to have sex with her, but let's just take it further for you monkeys, to have a relationship with her, you can't afford her. You can't. Not only that, you can't impress her. She's going to think you're whack, boring, lame. Why? This woman's going to be very difficult to date. Very difficult. Like, if I came in to date her, she will be difficult for me. Why? Her expectations are outside the room. You won't be able to eat. So the standard of the guy that she will want is crazy. You're not just going to come in and be like, I'll take you. You're a leftover. I'll take you. Brothers, this is an expensive woman. You're not going to be able to impress her with just a regular date. She's already experienced it significantly and i've already seen several different hairstyles so this hairstyle alone ladies chime in this is ablation how much does it cost to put this hairstyle together Mm. ladies listen up tell these men how much it costs to put this hairstyle together now and i'm gonna put give you guys some because i gotta teach you because that's not her natural hair that's her hair she's also had um uh, uh uh afro style hair Right there, it's a different hairstyle right there. That's a more natural look, her curls. All right, we got our hair flat ironed or a wig. I, I'm going to say it's flat ironed, so it's straightened. There's a bushy hair right there. How much does that hair do cost to install and maintain? There's another hairstyle. We're just talk- There's a braids right here. Somebody said 1,000. Where's the ladies at? I want the thousands. Uh, I want the ladies to let them know. Yep, so 400 plus. We got 400. We got 100 to 300. 200 baseline. What about the hair? You had to buy the hair too. Y'all not counting the bundles. How much did the bundle cost? How much did the bundle of hair? You got to buy, buy the bundle too, right? The hair's not included. Yep, somebody said not even the hair and the maintenance. So there's a, there was a more of an Afro style. There's a more of a braid. There's a different braid style. What's the bundle cost? Tell these guys. And she's doing this every eight weeks, it looks like. Every eight weeks. So she has a certain lifestyle to maintain. This is going to be $1,000, $800 every time she switches her hairdo. And she seems like a good person. She seems nice. But this is a woman that's been exposed to things that most of you guys cannot afford. And she's not going to just let you goofy-ass ninjas treat her like a leftover. Okay, I'll take you. With that being said, if I introduce myself to her and I haven't right here, 
Not sure about weaves. I wear my own hair. Okay. Has anybody, has anybody ever dated a woman that has traveled? I'm trying to set the men straight now. Uh, enough about the women. Has you, have you ever dated a woman that has had an extreme lifestyle where they travel and they've been places? I've been to 15 countries. I've been to 50 states. I've been here. I've been there. Has anybody ever done this? A lot of you ninjas don't have no class. If you have done none of these things, or very few of them, she's going to think less of you. And it's going to be hard to show her that you're on her level. So, again, she might not say, I'm not a leftover. You might say, Coach, she's not bad. I'll take her. She's not a leftover. You're, I'm saying she's going to be hard to partner. But you are going to say to her that, hey, I haven't traveled here. I haven't been here. I haven't been there. You're out. <laughs> you don't count. You're not just going to swoop her up. I'll take her. You're not even getting in there. You're not getting in there. She won't even have a conversation with you, which means, in effect, it's going to be hard for you, or far, hard for her to find partner and hard uh, to, to maintain the lifestyle that she expects from you if you volunteer. You're not going to be able to do it. I've dated women like that. It, they're, 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 somebody said they're insufferable. They get bored. Okay. So this is one of the negative things that they don't see that's going to happen when they come back and impact their dating lifestyle. Their expectations of what the dates are. They might have dated a sugar daddy or a guy that went, were, was able to travel with them. And then they'll ask you, Hey, I'm going here. You want to come? Guys, they'll even have their own trips and invite you on the trip. And the trip is 20 days away. They have the hotel book. They have their flight. Then they'll invite you. And then you'll be like, oh, I can't go. They'll let that slide. The next time, two months. Oh, I'm also going here. You want to come? <laughs> the minute you turn them down twice, it's a wrap. You're, you're, they're going to they're gonna bounce you. So, again, she's saying, I'm not a leftover. Okay, age-wise, she's not a leftover. But experience-wise, she's going to be hard to date. Her expectations are going to be off the map. So, even if you say, I'll take her, you won't even qualify. So, <laughs> just let you know. And when you don't provide this for her, let's say you do qualify and you stop providing this, she's going to fucking bounce on you. She's going to divorce you. She's going to say you're boring, you're broke, X, Y, and Z. Somebody says, Coach, speaking my life right now. Guys, I I've, I've know plenty of women like this. This is the negative part to me of what women don't understand about men is that men naturally incline, we want to give women experiences. We want to experience life with them. Many times women experience life before us. Then they want to merge their lives with our lives and keep experiencing that life. This is what's going to keep them single. The leftover has nothing to do with the looks. In fact, you will find that what she calls Shane Yu or what Kevin Samuels referred to as the Shane Yu culture from the leftover culture. It's not about the looks. It's not. It never was about the looks. That's what normies think. Oh, leftover women are washed. They're going to hit the wall and the looks are going to be gone. It was never about the looks. You guys got to start. That's why I have to teach today. It was rarely ever about the looks. It was about what value you have, what experiences, how are you able to mate? What are you going to bring to the guy? What your mind state is. It was more about what position the woman was in. It wasn't about the looks. When people say the wall, Everybody keeps saying, well, she looks good. She looks young. It's never about the looks. The looks are a part of it, but it was never the most important part. The wall was about the biological options that the woman had. That was the initial wall. But then the red pill space started talking about the wall in terms of looks. What did women do? They said, okay, we got Botox for that. Now, coach, she still looks good. 
So now guys are talking you off the ledge of leftover and wall saying she still looks good. It never was about the looks. Is were you able to be wifed? Are you wifeable? That's what it was. That's what leftovers were. I don't know why guys can't get this, but a, a lot of guys can't. You, yep, it's the it's the it's the it's the experience, the mileage, the cock carousel, the looks, the ability to have multiple children, not just one, meaning a family, not just a one kid in divorce. Her attitude, her effort, her body count. That's what the wall is. That's when somebody says a woman's a leftover. She says, I'm not a leftover. I still look good. Has nothing to do with it. That's not the end all be all. You have to. Somebody said thought that was obvious. It's not apparently no well because people keep saying, well, coach, she looks good. I'll fuck her. She's foldable. And men don't get it. Women will say, I still look good, so I didn't hit the wall. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Because now somebody says shared experiences. I can't share experiences with you. I can't grow with you. I'm in competition with you. She looks at you like a competitor. She might judge you and say, well, you didn't go to Europe, so you're less than. So then she... Boom, disqualifies you, not on your looks. She disqualified you based on your life experiences. I've experienced more than you, so I'm better than you. For women, I love that for you. I don't want women to not have experiences. This is what the problem is. If you're talking about finding a mate and you're coming in and say, I have more life experience than you, but the guy's supposed to provide experiences for you, right? That's what you would want. That's what women are saying they want. I want a man that gets lit. I want a guy that's spontaneous. I want a guy that plans experiences. Here he comes with less experience. And he says, you know what? I want the first time I want to go to Ruth's Chris. I'm going to go to Mastro's. She's going to say, I've been to Mastro's 50 times. Well, guess what? A guy wants to typically, and I'm speaking of the normie guys. I'm not speaking of what guys should do. A guy wants to show his woman a good time. He wants to see her eyes light up. Wow, in excitement. He, that's what a guy wants. That's what a guy naturally wants. He wants to say, look at this. This is what I've done for you. Are you happy? Are you surprised? Look at the, look at the place. We have a pool, infinity pool, and we can oversee the cliffs in, in Barcelona. And he wants her to walk in and go, wow. That's part of what he wants to do. But if he can't do that for her, and it's a normal experience, then spending two to five thousand dollars, maybe ten grand, to take a bitch across the world, and she just be like, "Yeah, oh, here again, oh, um, yep, I did this before." Why would he spend ten thousand dollars to do that? The motive behind spending that amount of money is to show her, enlighten her, to share an experience with her, to show, not to just be like, mm. she shows up. Same thing. I'm not saying that men should do this. I'm telling you what normal men want to do. When a man gifts a woman this, he doesn't want her to go, oh, okay, another Louis Vuitton bag and put it with the other five that she got from the other men or she bought with her own money. Oh, I do have this version of this one. I'm going to take it back and get the receipt so I can get the bag that I want. This is part of the leftover hitting the wall. It's not just about the looks. Everywhere you take her, she's like, yeah, I've already done that. My dad took me here. My boyfriend took me here. My ex-husband took me here. My sugar daddy took me here. I went here by myself. I, I, I island hop. Yes, right here. I've flown myself to Paris. I've done Greece. I've island hopped. I've done all of that. And then what she'll say is, you just be a utility. You just take out the trash. You just paint the walls. You do all the heavy lifting. And then you get me. It's not a good sell to men. And you get my other kids. You get my ex-husband. You get my baby daddy. Yeah, just, just clean the bullshit up. Just be here to clean up. I think that is more part of the wall than the looks. This is what they're discounting. And they believe that they're eventually going to find a guy while they're in Santorini, Greece. Oh, I bumped into a guy. 
He's from California. I'm from California. We're both in Santorini. We both enjoy traveling as a lifestyle. He's been to 20 countries. I've been to 15. We're going to travel all our lives. Brothers. (laughs) This is where you guys are missing the boat. It's easy to just say a woman has deteriorated deteriorated in looks and even if i say she deteriorated some nigga gonna come in here and say nah i'll still wife her up right now okay that's not me that's your low standards and we don't know what she's doing to maintain that she could still look young she could be young looking still doesn't matter the leftover shame you or also the wall is not just the looks it's the experience kevin samuels the shared experience it's about the lifestyle I want this for women, and women are able to do this, but are they able to do this and still be fiscally sound? The answer is no. I know women that are traveling and are dead broke. Dead broke when they come back. They don't even have their rent money, and their whole plan is to get rent money however they can or pay their rent and not pay their car. Trust me. I know women that are doing this and they're dead broke. I know women who are doing this and they're in steeped in debt. I know women that wish they can do it, but they know they would be broke the next month. This is where the issue is. This is where the issue is. And I know women that are doing this, that's selling pussy. So most of the women that are doing this are selling pussy or they're, they're broke or their dad's paying it. They're not, they're not using their own money, which is going to be problematic for them long term. All right. So anyway, the extended adolescence is a little bit sad out here. It's a little bit sad. If you enjoyed this clip, check me out on the Free Agent Lifestyle channel for the best morning live stream every weekday. And of course, we're back for the evening live streams as well. Check out the times in the feature channels on this channel right here. And also the links are in the description box. I will see you there. New, 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 new world order.